Hello there everyone, it is June 1970 and we are back with episode number 57 of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and the Democratic People's Republic of Fjordland. Hope you are all well and you've had a nice, nice week. Thank you as always for joining us in our little let's play adventure. These lorries are really struggling to go up this hill, aren't they? Like, look at them. They're really slow. Poor guys. Poor guys. Um, to date this episode, I am recording this the day after recording episode 56. As a result, I've not read any comments or anything uh, because everything's scheduled in advance. So if you have given suggestions to like how we solve unemployment issues, I, I've not had a chance to read them. But we're going to have a look today in this, what will be a slightly shorter than usual episode. Um and see some things we can do to help Fjordland in the next couple of years. Um, if I move over to Toraloy stock, you can see the tanker that we mentioned in the last episode that, <laughs> that bought four million rubles worth, of, five million rubles worth of stuff is, is on its way. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to have that thing go and, and purchase more stuff. I know we're making a lot of money still, but I just... Mm, mm. It's... I mean, it's not like we've got a shortage of clothing and, and all that jazz coming into the, the country. We need to we need to keep an eye on that boat anyway to stop it going, going back. Uh, one thing I do want to do um, is very, very quickly is come down to the construction hub down here. And we can actually now make some of these roads, I'm going to pause it, one way. Which is pretty cool. Where can I go up to there? Because we have built... No? Where, where's the next... There we go. We have built a lot of these roads now. Um, so we can... Why won't you... Okay, that's... Am I missing something? How bizarre. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that then. Um, we, we have built a lot of these roads all the way up to here, actually. So we can do this this motorway, this new highway, all the way down to here. Uh, we can get the get the cars working on it, getting going the right way. Can we have a cross over here? Because if we don't, we probably need one. I'll come back and do that in a second. Um, just so people can get into Julia Stock both ways. Makes sense. Um, oh, no, where's the, where is it? There we go. Finding the nodes is very difficult. For some reason, I find it extremely hard. Put that across there like that. I wonder why this won't go one way. Can't do it over existing roads. How bizarre. How bizarre. Okay, so we should now start to see these idiots going the wrong way. <laughs> They'll work it out eventually. Um, and the stock as well. Oh my gosh, this game. This game is getting so slow now. <laughs> We have how many people? <laughs> 47,000. Oh, it worries me how how slow it can be. Look at some of the frame rates. Let's pull away from there for a second. Let's go and sit over here where the frame rate isn't quite as bad. Um, yeah, and the stock is coming together as well now. Uh, so is... Well, Julia's stock is done, isn't it? That's a, that's a positive. Um... So, so really, we, we, we're now just trying to build all this infrastructure around here so that then we can build the cultural city and the industrial city. Um, I'm going to wait till the daytime comes and then we're probably, we need to start thinking about what's going in at that industrial city. How are things going to work? The industrial city needs to form... It kind of needs to be all the construction places... It has to have prefabs, it needs to probably have its own steel mill, it probably needs to have its own, just all that stuff, in order to then build the cultural hub. It's going to be a big ask, it really is going to be a big ask to, to do. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get that done in the five year plan, but hopefully when we get Oogle stock up and running, that will mean that we, we are pulling a lot of coal out the ground, and once we get coal out the ground that will be great because then we can use that coal for all the building materials that we need it for cement concrete uh, cement bricks that type of thing how's everything looking over here 
we're already full. We're already full with mechanical pieces, which is which is pretty cool. We did set up in the last episode so that um, what did we do with it? We set it up so that the the um, the building people, the building companies, can come and get their their parts from there. I think we did that anyway, did we? Mechanical components. Oh, I thought I did do that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't save it. What? Oh no! I don't, um, did I not do that? What if I do that there? Okay, maybe I just missed that that one. Let's let me have a quick look. What about you? You're you're going to Julia's stock warehouse. Your fuel. You're going to Julia's stock. As are you, but you're actually buses, so it doesn't make really matter. Let's go check on the boat. As the boat landed, it has. Look at it. Here it is. Landing up, and it's gonna gonna get emptied now. I wouldn't. I want to see how this works. So when it parks up, come on, park up now. How? Let's let's fast forward till you get into place, because you're taking forever. Land. Oh my god! How slow. Where are you going? There we go. So it's filling back up. Now we go, we're taking that stuff off. And it's landed, it's going into here. Oh, that's interesting. I think we're gonna fill this place up by accident. Has this got any storage? Oh, sugar. Oh no! This is gonna fill up. Oh no. Guys. Oh. Bomb. Okay, so what's happened there is we've actually filled up the whole capacity of this entire place. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna send this boat to the docks. So it, we, we don't want it to go and keep... Oh no! What on earth is happening here? Oh no. No fire trucks are coming. Have I not built a fire station in Nikachov? Have I not built a fire... No, I have, I have. But I don't have any... Okay, listen. I'm not a very good leader of a country. I get that. I get that I'm not very good. Right, we'll build, we're going to buy three of you and hope to flipping... God that it's going to get to the... get to here in time. Come on now. Yes, that's it. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, Jetters. Come on. Let's put the fire out. Oh, flipping heck. Where are you? Oh, no. I don't know if they're going to make it. Sugar. Oh, no. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Oh, shit. Oh no. Well, I'll tell you what I am going to do. Screenshot that, because that is uh, <laughs> worthy of an episode. Huh? Episode picture, isn't it? Oh, flipping heck. What an idiot, man. What an idiot. Yep, gone. Shh. Well. Well. Shoot, guys. Shoot. To be fair, we didn't need this. We didn't need this thing in the end. We, we put it here because we thought we could fuel people up, but we didn't We didn't need it. So, you know what? I am... We, we are going to just get rid of it. We don't need it. Oh, what a waste of fuel. I'm surprised it wasn't a bigger explosion with all the fuel that was there. So, now we have something here with some electronics and, and all that jazz. What are we needing here? You need clothes. You need electronics down in Gavusk. We also need... Probably could do with some of them up here as well, I guess. Maybe then we get a train. Can we? Can I do a mixed bag train? Is that something that I can do? Let me find out. Uh, we want an electric locomotive. We want a nice fast boy. Or girl. Because 
yeah, it can be any gender for a train, really. We'll buy this check train, uh, and we will get some... Oh, we'll just get some of these, I guess. One, two, three, four. What can you carry? You can carry a bit of stuff, can't you? Can I tell you, mate, to come down to, to here? And what I want you to pick up is clothing and electronics. Now. Is there like an advanced setting? I thought there was, but I don't. Advanced setup, it's a bit right there. Like a boy. So. No, no. I don't want that. I want. Where's my. Tra I don't understand. I don't understand the advanced setup. You, hello. I want your advanced setup. I don't want you to pick crops up. Advanced, I want you to pick... Oh! Okay. Okay, so you can specify... So that train carriage picks up clothes. That one picks up them. We then want that one to pick up electronics. And that one to pick up electronics. Does that... Has that done that? No. Okay. Oh, not carry only those resources. No. Cancel. A bit... What the... F what? No, reset. How? I don't understand what I do here. What if I want it to do both at the same time? What if I want one to carry that? And then the other one to carry something else? What do I do? I don't understand. I don't understand. What do I do? But I don't want it to do that. I want it to pick up half and half. Can I not... Can I not do that? What happens if I, like, forbid everything else? What if I, like... Can I... Can I not... Okay. What if I said carry only that one? But also that one. Does that work? Oh, hello. So that was on right. Hang on. This is interesting. So if I only carry that there on that one, on this one, I can forbid that one as well. So carrying, so you carry electrics, and then on here, wait, is this going to work? Welcome to Chris working out how to play the game. All I can say. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So it comes right. This works. I hope this works. I'm going to follow this train and we're going to hope it works. So this is going to come here and then it's going to unload everything there. And then anything left over, it can come and unload there. Anything that's left. Right? Let's follow this train and see what it does. Oh, hell, oh no. Oh god, I'm going... Oh god, that's motion sickness. Let's go really fast and follow it speeding through the, the glen. Man, this... Imagine if this train really was this fast. I mean, one thing I've noticed from these train journeys is the railway is very bumpy. <laughs> I've not made a good job of this railway. Not a good job at all. Right, so, comes into land here, goes through the station, which is good, we wanted it to do that, and then comes to here. So here's what I am going to do, I'm going to pull out from now, and then let's click on my train, and let's see what it's doing. Look at you! Oh, look at me working out how the bloody game works. Aren't I really a cool dude? So we follow this train again. Let's go. First person. Let's chug, chug down the track. There goes another train. Hi, train friend. I... I love the... I just love watching trains in this game, you know? God, this is really fast. This is probably too fast. Right, hang on. Stop. Stop. Just 
be reasonable with the time. Look at the frame rate drop, though, guys. It is not good. This game is very taxing on my poor little laptop. Oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> he does his little roundabout turn. Saving the game is frozen. Yep, and let's go. You can tell when you're getting into higher built-up areas because, yeah, the frame rate drops like crazy. Here we go, though, coming in and landing into Gversk. And it should. I wonder how much of this is going to dis disembark here. I bet it'll be all of it. Probably be all of it, won't it? God, it's... Where is... Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't look at the... the... Okay, maybe not then. <clears throat> oh gosh, sorry, my voice one then. Maybe not all electronics, but certainly, yeah. There's not. I mean, there's not much left to go to to um, Julia Stock, but that's fine because Julia Stock did have stuff in stock. <clears throat> so this is this is fine. I just love the trains, man. They're just so awesome. So I can zoom back out and follow it down the journey, like. I know this game is taxing on my computer, but it is such a beautiful game. I know that it's not, like, top-scale graphics. It isn't city skylines, photorealistic stuff at times, but it is beautiful. It's just so taxing on my computer right now. It takes about four minutes to load up this save at the moment. Which isn't bad, you know. Again, compared to City Skylines, God, Novigvusk takes about 15 minutes. Well, it depends. After the last update, it actually was about 8 minutes to load up. So that's not too bad. But, I mean, that game that game is a killer on, on the little... And it's not like my computer's a bad little PC. It's, you know, it's decent kit. And it's a laptop, I know, but it's decent enough kit. This just is what it is. I'm not complaining, don't worry. This isn't me complaining, just... Realistic expectation that at some point, I think we may... I don't know. This this game, there may be areas that it's like, oh, we probably shouldn't go back there if we don't want to have a really ugly time. Right, here we go, though. So, there we go, and everything is ditched in Julia Stock. So there's a, there's a few little things here. But it's not bad. It isn't bad. It's not not um not perfect by any stretch, but and certainly we want to be making our own of that stuff, but I kind of we, we don't need to send the ship out to spend another 5 million rubles just yet. The sun is absolutely on my screen here, which is awful for seeing in the dark. I've got to be honest. Next up, then, we've got the problem with um, uh, unemployment here in Gavusk. It's something that drastically needs solving. I realise I've put in for this cement factory, but that isn't going to solve all of our problems down here. So we do need some more things over here. The problem we've got with Gavusk is we don't really have a lot of room on the sides to put anything. You know, we can put, like, office buildings and that type of stuff. We don't really have the room for it. We managed to fit a small office building here, but really what is, what's missing, what can, there isn't really much we can put in. The problem we've got is these pipes go along this side of the wall, the road here, and even if we could put anything in, there's a big old hill that kind of, so the only option we have is to build completely new, and that's new industries over here. I mean, we can obviously build some more stuff out in Gavis Nuclear. There is an option. We can put some more factories out here. Obviously, Understock's getting its own factory. And there is, interestingly enough, if I show you this very quickly, we do have a iron. It's not the best quality. Like, it's, I mean, it's really not the best quality. But we do have an iron deposit up here. So part of me wonders, and I don't know how we would do this, we could maybe get like an iron mine here. Then I don't know what we'd do. Would we 
how would we transport it? And where would we transport it? Why? Why? Why are you blocking out the power? Flipping... I mean, these aren't attached to the grid, so there is that problem, Chris. There's so much fuel here. How... I, 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 yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, we can, so we could build a little ironworks here. Let's pause and think. Build an ironworks. How would we then get iron to a processor? Where would you put the processor? And how would you fit all that in? So you could have a little iron mine here that you can't, we can't do like conveyor belts across a river, can you? Can you? Let me just... Let's just, uh, right, this is an experiment. Let's just see. <laughs> okay, so we can do that. Interesting. Really interesting. The problem we've got is we can't do that without blocking off the river access. I imagine boats won't be able to go through those. Or can they? I don't want to disrupt this lovely boat that comes and brings people to university down here in Skaversk. What could we do? Out of interest, how many people are escaping these days? <laughs> Lots of you. Not as many people as we're having born. Like, in the last year. Flipping heck, guys. That is a lot of people escaping. It fluctuates. It really does fluctuate, look. Deaths. I mean, we thankfully we haven't got a big death spike. Like that was the winter, I imagine. Like if I can go all the way back this last year. No, I want to go. No. Oh my fucking gosh. Right, let's get to 24th of June and have a look uh, from January of last year. So, population has been, the population to be fair has been kind of steady and it has had a dip. It had a dip actually last, last spring and so, oh okay, but then we are starting to rise again now. Very steady on the, on the population. Um, what about people dying? Okay, so we're not at the worst in dying. We did have a lot of deaths. Oh no, sorry, that was escapees. So we did have a lot of escapees. 11,000 people have escaped, but 20,000 people have been born. So we're in positives. God damn them. Right, what about... We've got a lot more people with electronics. Uh, education is going up. Oh, the number of people with no education is going up, and that is concerning. But the university people and... Oh, why is that going up? I mean, 11,000 people with no education is alarming. Average lifespan is 84 years old, though. That is pretty decent. And average productivity, 98% is great. We do have a lot of unemployed workers, but that we know. What about our happiness? That seems... That seems to be relatively steady all the way through. Oh, it's at 100% almost. You can't get higher. People are fed. Great. Health is... Uh, here and there. Loyalty has took a drive, but it is getting gradually there. I'd be very interested to see if our radios have, have made any impact whatsoever. Alcohol addiction is low. Great. Cultural enjoyment. Yep. F football and sports is great. Religious sympathies continue to go down clothing is there around about. I'm, ha I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with this education stuff at the moment, but I, let's have a look. Like, can I just have a quick... Um, I want to see who is uneducated. Is there no way to see that? Workers, tourists, uneducated. So there's not that many of you here in, in, in Gavirsk. Not that many of you are hearing Nicky Chop either. So it's going to be over in like Eisen Herstadt. Um, even then, it's not. That's really interesting. Surely. So, does. I, I guess uneducated must mean like children. People who are 
Children who can't go to school. What about them? Workers who had a baby yesterday. Is there any... Like, let's just quickly look. Any of you who can't get to school. So we do it... Oh, one kid there. And there. Right, one kid. And not that we... No child left behind and all that, guys. But... <laughs> okay. Right, well, okay, well, that's an immediate problem, isn't it? There are a lot of you who can't get to school. Why can't you get to school? Can you really not get to school? Where's the nearest school? Oh, God, where's the nearest school? Can you really not get to that school? What an, what an idiot I am. Okay. Cool. Right, well, we need to quickly build a school. I will auto-build it because I can't believe... I got 58 million. I don't... It's fine. School, school, school. Uh, 400. Well, there's 500 kids in the school who need who need education. So, how big are you? Massive. Where am I going to fit you? Nowhere. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Really, I need to fit a school in this spot here. This is like the perfect place, but um, I don't think I can fit anything. 470 can go in here. But we can't really fit. Oh, no, we could. We could. We could. We can. Can we? No. Yes. We could fit it there. What is this? Can I Can I fit it there? It's really close to this building. I can't believe I didn't build a school. You poor kids. What about the vanilla schools? Kindergarten to 120. Like, that's not... It's not going to cut it, is it? We need something bigger. Small schools, 470. We just looked at you. Are you any smaller? Not really. We built this blood. We built a university, and we didn't even build a school. I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm the worst, guys. Unless I can fit in, like the smaller school. You still need roads, do you? still need roads, that's really irritating. Because we can definitely fit in, like, a school. We can definitely fit in a school. Okay, hang on, we can fit in a school here. Let's, let's try this. Right, I can fit in a school there, and then I can fit in a school here as well. Let's see if we can fit it in with a path. With a little wreck. If I can, this will be great. Okay. Okay! Nice, 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 nice. That's awesome. And then we can fit you. I mean, you can't play. Okay, this is... It works, man. It sort of does the... the Sort of does a job that I kind of want it to do. We can put this like going here to there. It's a little bit close to the to everything, I guess, but we can put a little path going to the university, a little path that joins it up there, a little path. How am I not got a little path that, that brings all these people to it? Can I not? Yeah, I want like a waterfront. I want a waterfront path cutting across to that. Like, let's let's see if this works. Please work. God damn it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Such an idiot. Such an actual idiot. What are you... What are you waiting on? Baby. Oh, hello. Well, I'm just going to finish that road. I can't... That's... That's... No, still... Right, I, I had a horrible feeling that that unbuilt road was what was actually stopping the people going to school. But thankfully, or not thankfully, it, it isn't. Um, I can't believe that. Well, always check your tabs, people. Always check your tabs. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Down by the docks. Let's put some trees around this, this lovely educational facility. Little trees... 
so that people can come and enjoy their education. While we're here, let's pay homage to the flag of Fjordland. Not blowing in the wind, but they're sitting perfectly. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. But that explains a lot, doesn't it, really? Let's just check Nikachov, because I'd be... Has anyone here not been able to go to school? No. You're just all, of, all needing new jobs. We'll get there. We're building... We are building this. This accounting hall. So we will, we will get that. Of course, it isn't an accounting hall. What it actually is is the operating office of the uh, Fjordland Fishing Fleet. So it, it plans... That's the planning office of the Fjordland Fleet. In fact... Whilst we're here, let's just let's just rename that. Rename it the Fjordland Fisheries Admin. <laughs> there you go. Fjordland Fisheries Admin. Right there. Right. I mean, I feel stupid. But it's one of those things, I guess. One of those things. But we've done some a little bit of stuff. As I say, it was only going to be a little short episode today. Um, we've managed to get a train delivering some stuff we've built some schools we're gradually gradually building things i would love your suggestions on this area here what can we what can we put in to help educate not educate to help employment in Gursk? Uh, an unforeseen problem really is that i've built too many houses <laughs> it's not an unforeseen problem is it there's no planning from me um give me a suggestion what can we fit in here how can we fit things in here? Ironworks, is that a plan? And if we do, how do we get iron across the way? All these things to solve. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate this so much. Um, over 700 subscribers to this daft channel now. It's just nuts, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your week weekend whenever you're watching this <laughs> i hope i've not done anything more stupid in elsewhere <laughs> but who knows probably have right next episode we're gonna look at that industrial city until then bye bye for now